Okay, here's my grocery haul today. Spent 71 bucks at Walmart. And let me just show you what I got. Uh, I got, um, this is typical how I eat. Uh, it doesn't have everything. I'm short. Still, I still should have got some, I don't know. I don't need eggs yet, but I'm gonna need them later. I don't need butter yet, but I will get it later. Okay, so let me uh, just show you right here. So you can probably see I got a 20 pound bag of jasmine rice there for 20 bucks. That is the way to go. That's beautiful rice, uh, so good. I have that with my rice and beans. I got uh, three pounds of pinto beans there, a couple pounds of chickpeas. So I make uh, chili, so I usually just buy, there is a, um, uh, there is a poblano chili and a serrano chili and I make, um, yeah, I make chili, I don't know, once or twice a week, big pot and have it over rice with meat. And that's right, I got some ground beef. So here's the meat that I got. Um, it's like four or five bucks for a pound of ground beef, 93, uh, seven, pretty lean. I got some salmon because I'm a sucker for, yeah, I don't know. I think it, whatever, it improves your uh, blood lipids, wonderful. It increases your HDL, reduces your triglycerides, whatever, fine. Um, it's horrible. I know this is farm. Farm is great. It's the only, the only way we're ever going to be able to sustainably eat salmon is when, uh, is because of aquaculture, right? You, you're not, you there is no, there's very little, I don't, so I read Paul Greenberg's uh, book called Four Fishes, where he talks about the four fish that, the only four fish that we care about. And one of them is, um, of course, tuna is one of them, but uh, he had a, the book's divided into four segments and he had a, a very big uh, segment on salmon. And people, yeah, people just, you know, people think that they're, in, I don't know, people think they're somehow entitled to wild caught salmon it's like where the hell are you going to find any of that there's very few salmon runs anymore i mean just people have squeezed out the fish it just doesn't work anymore um and so most of the salmon that we eat is atlantic even though we farm it on the we farm it everywhere in chile um i in canada I, we might have laws against it here in the united states but uh, all in the pacific we raise all uh, atlantic uh, salmon. And I buy it because it's great for the omega-3. Wonderful. So what? I probably should get my omega-3s from walnuts or um, sardines. It's probably just as good. God knows why I'm doing this. But again, one day this will be sustainable to eat uh, um, a, you know, farm salmon. And that's when we do it, <laughs> you know, in inland tanks just to, not dumping out waste into the ocean, but, you know, using, I don't know, solar power, uh, nuclear power, but uh, we can do it. And I guess demand will drive it. So I guess I don't feel horrible, even though I know it's not sustainable as is. All right, so again, there's 35 pounds of, um, oh yeah, including my 10 pound bag of flour and my other bag of farro there and some crappy barley. I'm gonna make some barley soup. But so to get a 20, 30, 35, 36 pounds of starch, thank God. That's a lot of calories, who knows? I eat the stuff, it's a staple, it's what I need. Got some miscellaneous vegetables, you know, I eat fruit, try to eat a little bit. Yeah, I don't eat that much fruit every day, I would eat some. Always need some garlic, always need some uh, uh, mushrooms, always need some tomatoes i drink my kool-aid i drink uh whatever two liters a day but i only use like 20 grams if that 20 grams of sugar a day in there so and then i always need some carrot and celery but for soup so that is the haul 71 dollars, and i got three uh diet cokes which aren't shown here and uh that ain't bad those are honey crisp apples by the way really good so this is what i buy this is how i eat you know, it's very, it's just traditional way of eating. All right. So this, this, yeah, whatever. I'll, I'll be going to the store several times a week. Okay. See ya.